So guys, quick update on the Ruger AR556. Uh, I am gonna be selling it tomorrow to a friend uh, so I can get something else. It's got 5,000 rounds on it and it's been quite a journey. It's Magpul stock, Magpul grip, Troy Battle Max, Magpul front sight, CMMG, uh, flash suppressor, uh, what is this thing? Bushel TRS32 red dot sight, ambidextrous charging handle, Spikes tactical bolt carrier group. Uh, what else did I do? I think that's it. Then anyway, gonna get rid of it. 5,000 rounds. As you can see, guys, it's in good condition still. A little focus, couple marks maybe on the on the lower there. But if you guys watch the earlier v videos, which I will link to in the description, you can tell I'm pretty. Oh, uh, Strike Industries uh, dust cover also, but oh, and it's got a Geisley <laughs> trigger. Sorry, um, I will link to the earlier videos in the description. But I just wanted to show you guys how it's kind of held up after approximately five thousand rounds, uh, maybe forty six hundred or something like that. Um, great gun. I still like it. I just time to. Uh, Time to part with it so we can get something new, something new to show you guys, make some more cool videos. I do still have the LWRC, so no worries, we are going to be keeping that. Um, if anything, uh, I do, like I said, I, like I've told you guys in previous videos, I do prefer this over the Smith & Wesson just because of the barrel rifling. I believe it says right on here. I don't know if I'll be able to catch it. It's a 5.56, there it is, one and eight twist. And what that does is it stabilizes a greater um, variety of grain rounds than the one and nine twist that comes in the Smith & Wesson. So, I'm gonna be getting rid of this for 900 bucks with all the upgrades on it, which I think is a good deal. You know, pretty fair, I guess, considering there's probably $1,400 into it. Troy, Troy Industries, uh, God, I wish this thing would focus. There we go. Troy Industries folding rear side as well. The only thing is, guys, the front side post is kind of a thumbs down. That is one of the things that I do like about the LWRC is that it does have flip down sights on both. But it is what it is. Budget rifle. Um, like I said, just want to make this quick. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna beat it to death. So, uh, what I would like is if you guys have any ideas around. What you might like to see next, leave that in the comments below, and I will take it into consideration, and we'll make some cool shooting videos with it. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching. As always, thank you so much for your support. I've put a link here for you to click to easily subscribe. There's two videos below it that I think you might like, and as always, I appreciate your comments below. That's going to be it for this video, and I'm flat out of here. <laughs>